Hello and welcome to another episode of Pub Suds and Grubs presents The, the Speak Easy. John. Ken. What is up? How you doing? I think we should like do a episode where we just like kind of sing or rap or do something back and forth, you know. What do you do? Here we go, I mean, yo. This Here we go, yo. So what so what's a, what's a, a scenario? scenario? Here we go, yo. Uh, sticky fingers in them. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I could rap like yeah, those guys. No, no, no. One of the, the craziest rappers I've seen, and I haven't seen in a while, actually, and just like totally like beyond fast, uh, was um, Busta Rhymes. Dude, that's the name that was in my head. I was going to say, but I didn't want to interrupt <laughs> you. I'm like, oh, like, how's this do you think do this? he's making shit up half the time? Like, you I, really think he's saying real sentences and words? <laughs> I, I don't know. I yeah, don't know, I don't but know. it's just like I, I'm envious. I I'm love like, Busta. Busta was I've so I've been good. told I talk slow a lot, so you know, <laughs> just to see him go, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, Look man. at that. Leaders of the new school, right? Oh, Busta Rhymes. Yeah, was it? Yeah. He was leaders in a new school, and they did that collab with Tribe Called Quest. Scenario is a collab. Scenario is a collab. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it's put out by With Tribal sticky Quest, fan- fingers from called. Onyx, and then yeah, then it was. Um, no, wasn't sticky fingers on no, Onyx? No, there was no Onyx in there. Well, sticky fingers was from Onyx, though. Sticky fingers. Yeah. No, no, I don't know that oh, part. I don't, I'm, God, I'm, I'm familiar with that. Wasn't he? So sticky fingers was part of the leaders in New School. He wasn't part of Tribal Quest. But he was an Onyx. But Onyx has nothing to do with that song. No, maybe not, but he wasn't Onyx. Oh, okay. I thought you meant he was singing that song. Oh. No. Onyx was the group, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Onyx was... Uh, and Sticky Fingers was in Onyx, no? Okay. Was he? I don't know. Oh, God. I don't Forget. know what that has to do with Scenario. That's why I'm throwing... Oh, oh, oh. I'm just I got saying you. the collaboration of oh. different you oh, know, okay. music people and who was from what and this and that. And Onyx sang... Uh, um... They were that, like, you used to, like, beat each other up. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh. We got to start doing research before we start this podcast. <sighs> anyway. We weren't going to even talk about that, but it just came up, so Welcome sorry. Welcome to another that. episode we of Pub Suds and Grubs presents the Speakeasy. Speakeasy. Um, so, what do we have here today? We have a, cl- speaking of collabs. Speaking of collabs. Wait, yeah. That worked this, itself into it. That did. This is uh, from your fridge. This is a... Uh, Trillium Brewing Company beer, along with Garage, Garage Project. Project. And where are they from? Um, I don't know. Where's Garage Project? I, from? I, is it from up there, Boston area? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say. Yeah, um, uh, it's not one that we see often around here. So, um, but if they're collabing with it Trillium, it just says Wellington. Wellington. Well, if they're collaborating, Arrow they're, Street in Wellington. Doing it's probably with, Massachusetts. Uh, yeah, with, with Trillium, they got to be pretty damn yeah. good. So this so. is Yakima Valley, right? Yakima Valley. This is coming in at I saw it, uh, eight and a half percent. Eight and a half. Okay. Right in the wheelhouse. So. And the artist of the can is Ben Leone. Oh, nice job, Ben. Nice. This is a uh, nice flowers and a little farmhouse. Yes, yes. I kind of want to be there right now. Well, you're going soon. Right. When you uh, go to Lancaster, you'll see. Well, yeah, I'm going to Lancaster soon. Yeah. Yes, very yeah. soon, very soon. But let's try this out. Cheers. First, first and foremost. Very All good. right. Very good. Yeah. Very good beer. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Trillium. Yeah. And uh, I might be one of the few people that maybe steer towards Trillium over Treehouse. Well, bit. Trillium was my top. Two for for yeah. some time. I'm still up there. Up with so do you man. agree? Trillium's a, sometimes a, a little little better than Treehouse. Um, Treehouse gets all the love up there, but Trillium's doing I damn good themselves. Man. Yeah, it's such a such a t- tough um, comparison because they're both good in their they're own both ways. Really good. Yeah. Man. So um, yeah, I guess certain beers I would say yes, and certain beers I would say yes to the other. I don't know. Um, all right, that's but fair. it doesn't matter. It's not a competition. Everyone's good. Um, Everything's a competition. Well, yeah, but with these guys, it's all good. It's yeah, good. No, it's all good. I will never say no to a treehouse or no to a right. trillium can. And actually, being that you said that, it's not a competition. Really, not in the beer world. Yes, yeah, not it's in not. the beer world. It's not. No. No. So, what have you seen? What's going on lately with the in, in the beer industry? Huh? What's going on, man? New Jersey's like uh, yeah. screwing the beer the beer people. Yes, in New Jersey, people. that is. Yes, yeah. um, they're kind of cracking down on some things. I don't and, get it. And everything with events and what you can do and. Uh, uh, Mike Kivowitz from uh, NJCB. He was you know, on uh, he was the on, news. Yeah, Pix, Pix 11 Pix or something 11, like that. Yeah. yeah, and he was talking about all that. And um, So what does that include? So it's like 25 events per year, whether it's internal or external? 
So they can't do a lot of beer shows, or they can't have yeah, food trucks, something. Like but that here's the real question, though: Is I guess are there people actually monitoring this? I'm like, how much trouble are you going to get into? Yeah. Are you going to get fined? Are they just going to say, all right, whatever, you do you, you know, run your business, you know? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not uh, yeah, in, how I'm much not are in the they, industry? How much are they coming down on these people right. if they break these but rules? Would, if they do, would you want to be the brewery that does? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how? What? Yeah, absolutely. I would want to be the one because that's the one that's going to get the attention. That's the one people are going to be like. Screw them. We're going to support whatever brewery, you know. Right. So, hey, you know what? Break the rules. I mean, you might get some attention for it. And then when their licenses get taken away, we'll go to the next <laughs> brewery. <laughs> you know, but I said this, so you need to do it. So, yeah. 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 Um, well, but, yeah, it's crazy with all that stuff in the craft breweries and what's going on and uh, what is allowed. You can't even have so food trucks, though. That's the thing. That was the loophole. The Wait, so they can't have it at all? Is that part of that limited what they can do? I think think they can't have it at all but That's i could insane. be wrong i could be wrong so what's a place like brick city right it's on a uh, it's on a side street in an mm. industrial area what's to say a, a food truck can't park uh, across the street yeah it's nothing to do with them yeah yes i don't get it but if it's on their property that might be it all right so source always has like a food truck on the weekends on their property i mean yeah if it's on their property, then that's probably what they can't do. That's ridiculous. If they're across the street, if um, if you're talking about sewer, say they're at uh, the uh, Delicious Orchards yeah, or something, you yeah. know, right there, then uh, maybe, uh, you know. That's so stupid. Yeah, yeah. But you can still. Who's running this? Who's making these laws? I know. I, well, no, it's, it's, it's because um, the bar owners and everything are not happy. New Jersey's all screwed up. If you're not from Jersey, let me tell you how it is around New Jersey. It's not like we're uh, in like New York where you get like, you buy a, like a bar and you're just renewing your license for $3,000 a year, um, or whatever it is. And you don't have to purchase an, an initial license. I'm a former bar owner. And, um, when it comes to liquor licenses, it's supply and demand. So you can buy a liquor license for maybe 50000 in maybe like an area of, uh, like Camden, or you can buy a two hundred to three hundred to four to five hundred thousand dollar liquor license from an area like Hoboken. So you know, or even more than that, it, it's so crazy where people when they sell their bar and grill or whatever and say it's in Hoboken or something like that, you know, that price of the liquor license is part of that sale and it's what makes it valuable. So New Jersey, because of that, um, a lot of these bars now they're like ticked off because which I I mean I could see it from both sides of it. They're ticked off because they're like wait a second. I spent 500 or half a million dollars on a liquor license and I'm working my ass off and then you get a brewery that spent nothing on you know or next to nothing compared to what they spent um and they can do everything basically I can do, you know? And yeah. that's where the problem is. But I mean all these restaurants with bars and bars and grills are are supporting these crap breweries and buying their their product. Yes. To sell at their own places. And yes. people are going to those places so they can have that. Yes. It's you know? such a it's weird... so stupid. Work together, dude. Yeah, work together. Just let the craft beer breweries sell food. It's yeah. all it is. Let yeah. them let them yeah. be a let them be a bar and grill just like everybody else. Yes. Why not just make it one 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 thing? It's a liquor license, just like every other place. Well, but they're making their the own thing. product. That's the thing. My honest opinion, change everything. Bring it to where a, a liquor license doesn't have that kind of value, where you are selling your business because of it, et cetera, right. et cetera, and getting that whatever you value. Equal playing field. Government, New Jersey government, whatever, is the ones who screwed up to begin with. Give oh, some it's... tax breaks to these bars. Give it to them and say, you know, uh, maybe something like that, where they don't, they're not losing as much. Like, get their money. But give them a chance to get their money back sure. on that five hundred thousand dollar liquor license. Something. Which, you know, kind of evens the playing field, you know, and where anyone who wants to sell food or sell beer, just buy a yearly permit or whatever to sell. It's the same license, whether you're going to sell vodka or you're going to sell your yeah. beer you make. It's the yes. same shit. Yeah. You're going to sell Bloody Marys, you're going to sell IPAs. It doesn't matter. Yes. Be one level playing field. Yeah, one level playing field. Let everyone do their thing. Uh, uh, yes, but the problem is, like I said, once again, is that they, hold, they started this whole thing where... Um, each town is a limited number of uh, liquor licenses, right. and hence supply and demand comes into play. And things that should be maybe 10,000 are turning into hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Um, and that's why they're ticked off. You know, they're like, wait a second, uh, new brewery uh, two blocks down, taking all my customers now. You know, I mean, there are two sides to it. I feel for them, and a lot of people are like, oh, well, why don't they just do the same thing the breweries are doing? 
well, you know, every place is different. Every place has a different environment. Everything, you know. Um, so I could see it from both sides. Um, I think just the whole um, limiting the number of liquor licenses to begin, begin with is what basically started this whole issue. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But I do support our breweries. I do support, and I wish you guys the best. And I hope that, you know, you might be able right. to get food That's back like when there. we talked about guns. Like, I just wish sometimes everything was like a federal rule. Like, everything statewide. Yeah. It's so, so hard because, want. you know, we, it, it's like United States is pretty big. Like, we are like Europe, but our states are not countries. Right. So, you know, every, you know, at least we all speak the same language. It's not like uh, Italy and France and, and Norway or whatever, you know? So. Right. But unfortunately, we have Democrats and Republicans who don't get along and can't meet in the middle. So every place is different. And Everything unfortunately, that's only going to get worse. But uh, oh, yeah. 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 So what do you think of this, though, John? Back I think it's, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, I think this is, I think it's really good. Uh, it tastes like a trillion beer to me. And I think anytime we go off on something, I'm going to say calamari. Calamari. <laughs> Our episode where we went off on Cal- calamari, <laughs> which was totally off script. That was the more off script than anything I think we ever. We done. didn't have calamari written down in our notes. No, no, yeah, yeah. Nope. yeah. So, um, but, but we I did do have, love calamari. Yes, yes. So John recently went away, and uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I went camping for a few days. Well, is it camping or is it glamping? Glamping. I stayed in a cabin. Oh. So, this is the pros and cons. Okay. I say it's just as much camping as a tent. Yes. Did I have a bathroom? I did. Yes. Did I have a shower? I did. Oh. There was a fridge? There was. Okay. There's just as much, if not more, work to do in a cabin, though, than if you're just pitching a tent. You <laughs> pitch your tent, you throw in your... John likes to pitch tents. Yes. I pitch tents. <laughs> you throw your air mattress in there, or your sleeping bag, and you and, and that's it. You're done. Yeah. But with in a cabin, you need to bring your own sheets. You need to bring your own uh, this. You need to bring your own that. You're making beds. You're sweeping. No, you're cleaning. No. You're doing dishes. Yes, I understand. I understand. No. That, that's work, but no. It's work. It's dude. not the same. When you're putting up a tent in the woods, you're in the woods. You're yeah. building a home, basically, and you're staying in it. Yeah. You're building shelter for your family. I, You've got wolves and bears and all that stuff and yeah and, yeah and, yeah and i mean rabid I, deer you know these are things uh, rabid deer <laughs> i don't know if i've ever seen one of those no i don't think i have either but i would uh i would stay in a tent gladly over this glamping stuff man this glamping stuff is too much work for me a lot of work yeah give me an air mattress but now Please. here's the thing though john you have two kids yeah. you have a wife right close quarters how is it? It's probably not a big cabin. How is that, though? Is it something that... Uh, so the, the cabin we had, the bedroom had uh, two bunk beds. So there was a bottom and a top. Bottom okay. And, top. and I stayed on bottom. My wife stayed on bottom. Two girls stayed on top. So we each had our own beds, which was great. Okay. Except your girls had shared... No, no, no. It was two bunk beds. So eat, one girl was on each oh, top bunk oh, and me and my wife oh, were on the oh, bottom. Oh, I got you. I yeah. got two bunk beds. Yeah. Okay, okay. It was a tiny shower and a small bathroom. But there was like a big living area. Yeah. With a futon. There was no TV or anything like that. I had to bring my own air conditioner. Oh no gosh. air in there. It's just a ceiling. You bed. actually brought an air conditioner. It was 105 degrees. I would have thought like maybe a fan, maybe. No. This guy brings an air conditioner. An air conditioner. I popped the screen out of one of those windows. I put my own air conditioner in. Wow. Wow. That is glamping. It, What's one size? If you're in a tent, at least you're outside the cool air. When you're in a, a cabin, wait, wait, wait. it's hot. If it's 100 degrees, it's 100 degrees. The air's not different. Well, I mean, unless you're in the ex- extreme shade, I guess. Yeah, but, I don't know. You know, I went camping. With, it was a lot of work. Though, so honestly. Ruben, who's been on this podcast before, um, I went camping with him uh, when we were younger, and it's like I, I swear we put our tent in the bottom of like a hill, and it started pouring rain. Ooh. <laughs> Float away. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> everything was soaked. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, I wasn't built for this. Yeah. But you know, but we've done a lot of tent camping, right? Yeah. We used to go to our friend Damien's. Uh, we campground, went. I right? went the one time. Just and once, you were there. I went once. All right. Yes, just one time, and our. Um, um, my old restaurant in Cedar Grove. Um, we had a hockey store next door, oh, yeah. and um, I, I got to know the uh, guy uh, oh, who worked there, Orla- Orlando. Yeah, I know. And, yeah. Um, and he came with us. You know, we became good friends and everything. And he came with us camping. And at the time, I had a um, Honda CRV, yeah. and um, I had it where it had Auto Start. It had Auto Start installed. This is one thing I didn't realize with Auto Start is that it 
has programs and stuff, and if you hit certain buttons a certain way, um, it goes on like they have vacation mode or something where your car will start every certain amount of time, right? Um, so that it preserves the battery or something. I, I never heard of every like hour, um, because that's what was happening. And I had my car parked and right next Ar- to his tent, yeah, or, uh, facing Orlando's opening in his tent. And every hour, for some, I must have hit some buttons or I did something wrong, and every hour. The car would turn on. <laughs> and the and lights would blast. Right the right. lights will blast right into uh, his tent. And I mean, it's the greatest prank I could ever do that I didn't try yeah, to do. Well, unfo- you know, it wasn't funny to him because his girlfriend made him leave. Yeah, a couple had, days they, early. They ended up leaving like that night or something. <laughs> yeah. We're just going. I'm like, oh, I felt so bad. It was probably like two buttons I had to hit or something. Yeah, I yeah, figured yeah, it out in yeah. the end. And it shut it off and disabled that whole vacation. I don't That's know what funny. I hit to, to even start it, but um, sorry, Orlando, if you're yeah, watching. Sorry, um, Orlando. I, I really am. And uh, not really. It was funny. Yeah. Was and I remember funny. he was. <laughs> I remember I was in my tent, and um, I was like, "He's coming to the tent." He's like, "Ken, Ken," <laughs> and I'm like. I was pretending I was sleeping. I'm like, like you know. Would, why would we be sleeping? Yeah, and I'm like, uh, what the hell does this guy want, you know? <laughs> I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, your car's on. I was like, oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Let me yeah. check this out, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, I, and it just kept happening. It kept turning on, so. Well, this is our third year going to this place. Okay. Uh, Triple Brook Campground yeah. over in, uh, it's like Hope, Blairstown, that mm-hmm. area there. Uh, really cool place. Two pools, an adult pool, and a family pool. Yeah, and uh, it, it was a good time. It was just hot. Yeah. So because it was so hot and dry, we haven't had rain in a while. There was a fire ban. Oh, so you couldn't even do that. Really? Yeah, our first night we had a campfire. The next couple nights uh, there was a ban, and we couldn't do it. Wow. Yeah. So we sat around a fire ring that had nothing in it. <laughs> That kind of defeats the purpose of camping. You kind of yep. need the fire. Exactly. exactly. Marshmallows, exactly. roasting marshmallows, so, squirrels, all that stuff. Yep, I mean, how yep. can you do that? Yep. 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 Without yep. having you can't. A you fire. can't. Unfor- uh, fortunately, I had a griddle because sometimes I like to wake up. I'll make pancakes and eggs okay. for everybody. Okay. So we wound up just cooking burgers and dogs on the griddle, and then one night we went out to eat. Oh. That's really a great camping experience. Yeah, it was not really camping, eat. right? Yeah, we went yeah. out to eat. We went out to the Blairstown Inn over in Blairstown, which was great because they had like yeah. 20 beers on tap. Blairstown Inn, shout out. Shout out um, Blairstown Inn. And I, he told me about this before we started yeah. recording. You mentioned yeah. he had some uh, main dinner. Main, also, man. Yeah, yeah, main yeah. brewing company dinner. We, uh, lunch was on the menu. Main dinner is the name of, for pe- the people who watch us, the aren't beer people. Uh, right. Dinner is the name of that particular right. uh, main beer. When we got there, they said uh, they had dinner main, main lunch. Lunch is the name of the beer yeah. on tap. We ordered it. Uh, it the keg just kicked, mm-hmm. and he's like, you guys want something else? And we're like, well, what do you substitute it with? He's like, I got main. Uh, we're putting on dinner. I'll, I'll wait, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wait. It's old. It's old. Yeah, yeah. So that sounds like a, a, a good yeah. time. I mean, a lot of my camping was when I was younger um, in my single digits and stuff. And okay. Until Your I, dad took you camping and stuff? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We, me and my brothers, we all went camping. My brothers and I would share a tent. My parents would share another tent. Okay. And, um, yeah, that, that was, you know, and um, what's the one thing you can say as far as, you know how they say the, the, the scent is the closest thing tied to memory? What do you think about, like, if, like, say on a, a random Tuesday night you're outside and someone's got their fire pit going, I mean, that smell, right? Yeah. Does it bring you back to camping? Does it does. It, yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. You're like, oh, it smells like camping. You it's know? it's camping. Absolutely. It's outdoors. It's wood. It's, it's you, you're, you not only want to stay warm from the fire, but like you said yeah. before, you're making marshmallows. You're, you know, yes. The whole experience, the whole scent, the whole smell of it. It is. The, Everybody should go camping in a tent once. Yes. My girls now, they only know this. This is, like I said, we've done this a few years in a row. Yeah. They only know this cabin. Oh. I would love for them to experience it. No, we talk to our buddy Damien, who's got the campground. So, you know, maybe uh, no, over there. No, I would not take them there. No. No. To me, that's like a guy's trip. Oh, Memory right. lane, you know what I mean? Okay. We really, uh, that was more of a, like a... a RV park yeah, with I, some camp. With some I'll be honest. Stuff. When I went that time, I was convinced that my, especially my brother Dave, 
did not sleep. No. I remember waking no. up at like 7 in the morning, and he, I hear screaming and dan- this and that, and whatever. I hear potato uh, yeah. guns and yeah. stuff like that. I'm like, what do the hell? not sleep. And that was the thing about his campground. There was like no quiet time. Yeah. Little campground, like 10, 11 o'clock quiet time. You think I'd sleep I'd sleep till like 10 in the morning or something, yeah. you know? No, no. Yeah, no. You're going to bed 2, 3, 4 o'clock, and you're waking yeah. up at like 6, 7. Like, what stop. the heck? You start the day exactly as the previous day was. Yeah. I'm like, no, I need sleep. <laughs> no, we made potato launchers, right? We yeah, used to put hot dogs on bottle rockets and see ah. where they would go. Because <laughs> a hot dog is not going to hold up on bottle rockets. So it's yeah. either, it, it's, you know, it's, yeah. it's moving. You know, yeah. It's, ah, it was good times, man. Yeah. My kids would, my wife too. My wife in a tent. No yeah, way. not, not going to happen. We went to Dara, we went to uh, uh, Damien's campground. Yeah. Once when we first got together and she looked out the back window and somebody was like pissing right up against the tent and she was like, nope, never again. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not cool. You know, no. someone's staying there, sleeping there. It's not only like if you catch a visual of it, it's like you got to smell it. You yeah, know, well, that's not cool. Depends on who's doing it, I guess. Yeah, if they drink a lot of coffee before yeah, or something, yeah. you know, and just gets all those sense. Yeah, yeah. If they're yeah. drinking a lot of water, then it's just clear. It's just clear, then that's okay. That's yeah, okay. that's okay. Um, but yeah, we had a bathroom, we had a shower, we had a microwave, we had a fridge. A microwave? Uh, yeah, there was a microwave in there. We had Jeez. microwave popcorn one night. Like, Oh, God. That is not, I'm sorry, not real camping. No. It's glamping. It's, it's clamping. clamping. It's I think it's more than clamping. This guy brought an air conditioner. I had an air conditioner. Um, yeah, yeah. But it was good times, man. It was. Re- it's always good times. You know, we've been going with this with this other family. They actually brought us the Long Island beers. Yes, uh, that one name, the Tim? Hackett's. Tim, Tim, and Karen. Yeah. Like I said their kids are my my kids' age, so mm. they get along and. You know, now the kids are turning 12 and 13, and they walk yeah. by themselves, and they go here, and at night, they, yeah. they met other kids. Oh, nice. And they, they hung around and played, and we just kind of, like, st- stood around the uh, the fire pit that had no fire It's so in it. cool, man. Remember when you were kids, and you could just meet other kids and right? play? Nowadays, like, yeah. you, like, sizing someone up, like, who's yeah, this right, guy, bro? Right. If you were to go to one of your kids' birthday parties, or even, like, a bar, would you run up to them and be like, hey, yeah. you want to have a beer with me? <laughs> right? No. No, no, it's not like it, that. It, it doesn't. I, and, and, you know, interestingly enough that you brought that up, we had just taken our son to a uh, birthday party. I felt very, I felt kind of left out. It was like, it, it, keep in mind, my kid, it, I don't know, he's just starting everything. So everything right, is right. new. You, you have know? to meet everybody. Still. Yeah. Yeah. But all the dads were like, had their own game. It was bowling. They had their own game of bowling. Right, right. And I'm sitting there with my wife. Like, <laughs> I guess I'm not part of the cool crew, huh? I wish I was bowling. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like wiping my son's face. You got <laughs> stuff on there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm just kind of one of those people. I'm a little, I'm a, I can be a bit of a loner. So I'm not blaming no, these I'm other, the same way. other dads or if, anything. If those dads don't come up to me, I'm not going up to Yes, them. exactly. So I'm just sitting in the corner I, until somebody exactly. invites me over. And I'll be like, okay. And on. listen, I'm not opposed to meeting new friends but i have a lot of friends that i've right. known for 20 30 um getting close to 40 years you know um exactly. so it's like sometimes you can't spread yourself you know, yeah like, i'm like I, I don't like i said i don't mind meeting new people but i'm not like oh my god i need to meet friends yeah me too yeah like no, me too i don't have time for new friends even when i moved i still see, see these guys as much as i did before i moved you yeah, know so yeah. which i'm a little well, farther out you get there a, than them good crew of people together you stay that way forever yeah 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 it's never like uh like that you know where it gets weird you know no, especially no. with guys women are a little bit different i think women are like yeah oh 100 percent. yeah 100%. when it comes to things and stuff but uh, a couple of moms called me up they want to know if i want to go out for a mojito <laughs> <laughs> or a margarita please. no salt on that rim please yeah <laughs> why don't you call the dads and go over there no nah, i'm good yeah, I'm gonna have a beer over here. I'm gonna talk to Ken on the phone. I'm good. So it's um it's it's funny because uh, my wife's uh, friend who I mentioned um, before, like uh, uh, they had a birthday party and stuff like that, and and that I went to, and um, the wife, her friend, is like into like bourbon and things oh, yeah? like that. You know? oh. And the husband doesn't mind a little cocktail once in a while. So we always joke around and we say we reverse roles. We're like, all right, hey, you go hang out with the ladies and the wife will hang nice. out with the, with the guys, you know? And uh, <laughs> Maybe we're swinging. Swing. No, no, no. 
uh, John's philosophy is that oh, if you have red Adirondack chairs right. outside of your house, um, that you're swingers. Apparently, you're this swingers. is not John's thing. Apparently, this is a thing I didn't know about. Um, I didn't see the red Adirondack stuff. And so. who's the guy with two red Adirondack chairs? I house? don't have them. Oh, you have them? I do. Really? Yeah, not purposely. Oh, you found out about this afterwards. Afterwards, yeah. Uh, or yeah. did you just find out uh, before and you didn't let anyone know? Or you never know. All right. Well. So I'm glad you guys had a good time. If the camping. cabin is rocking, don't come knocking. Don't come knocking. Well, you can't do that with your kiddos in the the bunk bed next door, unfortunately. No. Especially when you don't have in the same bed. Right. We did have one cool though. Uh, my my friends took my girls to the land of make believe because it was right next door. So me and my wife, did which get to I was have... just at recently with our buddy yeah, Jay, who's right. on here. It's a cool place, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So old and school. His kid, yeah. Yeah. It's very old school. It's a very, but yeah. still, I, I, we had a good time. Oh, my kids love it. So we sent, um, we, we, me, Jay, and our two sons went into that haunted house thing. Oh yeah, right. It's we, so cheesy. It is so cheesy. We, but they're young. They're four. So, um, they we went, all went together through the haunted house, and they're like, oh, whatever. And then um, we came back out, and they're like, I want to go back in. I want to go back in. Nice. So they go back in. Jay goes to me, Ken. Go through the exit and, and try to sc- really, oh, really scare them. No. So I, I went in through the exit, walked the other way, <laughs> and I saw son. I saw their shadows coming up, and I jumped out and screamed. Oh, I think even Jay jumped. To be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> oh, poor guys. Well, poor yeah. guys. Did you go see Santa? Dude, right? Hundred degree Santa. Oh my God! <laughs> Poor freaking guy. Yeah. You go into this. You first you walk into you have this to duck. <laughs> you have to go into this fireplace, yeah. and then you go up the stairs. It's all like I'm talking dark. Yeah. I'm talking like it is creepy dark in there. Like it's just you see a couple glowing like Christmas lights, right? And it's just dark in this room and it's hot, it's hot. It's like 100 degrees like up there boiler room and you're walking through and then santa's got this blanket over him or something. miserable santa yeah. sitting in the corner i wanted to tip the guy because <laughs> what did tip the guy? i'm like oh my god you gotta sit in this this whole time and talk to little kids yeah i'm like oh Jeez. And he's not very friendly. Uh, the guy was nice. He gave him a oh, little nice. something cookie toy. cutter, right? Usually yeah, a cookie, cookie cutter. cutter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For 30 years, it's been a cookie cutter. Yeah, it was a cookie cutter, and my kid was happy, and yeah. uh, Jay's kid was happy. Did you talk to the scarecrows? Yeah, <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> they have these scarecrows. We thought it was like just scarecrows set up and no. just... It was, so I'm like, hey, what's up, Scarecrow? And then there's like microphone comes uh, talking like yeah. a, the camera. And uh, they were hello, like, I'm here. They're in the barn behind looking out the window. Oh, they are? And they're conversing with you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Well. It's it, hysterical. It was weird that we yeah, didn't know. it's very weird. Yeah. Yeah, they're watching. You're talking to a real person who's like behind them. Yeah, <laughs> so nuts. It's funny. It's funny. Hey, what a, it was a really know. cool place. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Tim and Karen took my kids to land and make believe. Me and my wife had a day to ourselves. We went to the farmers market. Nice. They have an adult pool. We we, we swam in the adult pool, and it was uh, it was nice, nice uh, day. Nice, nice. Yes, yeah. kids love it. My wife doesn't want to go back next year. She says it's a lot of work, too much work. No, uh, we, which but I think we will. Mel. I mean, first Lancaster, now. Uh, no, we'll, uh, go, we'll go. We'll go. I'm, I'm still. I'm still. I'm still uh, uh, bummed about Lancaster. Bummed about Lancaster. Yeah. yeah. I'm a traditionalist. I like to do the same things all the time and keep a tradition and hope my kids will keep the tradition. And this is going to be the first time in yeah. uh, 17 years. Wow. That I have not been to Lancaster in the summer. I will go at one yeah. point. I'll be there before the year is over. It's like, I will be there. Yes. Oh, 100. I will. I will. Um, but yeah, that's awesome, man. That's great that yeah. you, you have that right now. The kids aren't going to forget it. But yeah, I guess it's one of those things like you almost have to like put it in their head. You need to do this every year. You need to do this, yeah. you know. But, but you know what? They're going to no, do them no matter what. But there's no cell service. There's no reception. There's um, nothing. So well, these that's kids what's are part of it. It's probably better this way. But the kids are running. They're not sitting and playing video games yeah. and on their phones. They're exactly. running out and about and meeting exactly. people and that's the experience they No, need. you need that, man. You need that. You need that experience. Because you know, these kids, like, that's all they do is on yeah. their phones and there's this and that and, it, and it's ridiculous. Yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. I'm, well, I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah. Um, uh, Tim and Karen and the family seems like good company. Good company. So, you know, that's, um, and, um, you know, hopefully you guys do do it again another we year. Will. But we will. We will. see. We will. Yeah, we yeah. Will. Um, so, but, well, no, you go ahead. No, I was going to say, like I said, we get the kids off of video games, but the video games that these kids play now are, are weird. Like, I can't yeah. figure it out. I don't know what they're doing. Um, 
Like they're so different what from is our it? video like games. Minecraft or something? What is that? They call it Roblox. Yeah, I guess it's like I don't know, but they build like houses and they do weird things. And build my my houses. daughter's like always Sims? maybe, like but my Sims. daughter's always like, "Can I get five bucks to get two hundred points so I can buy this? I, I need a yeah. I need a bathtub for my bathroom." Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's like Sims. Like, what happened to like Super Mario Brothers? Yeah. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Well, the problem is nowadays, and I'm not saying it's the case with your daughters, is that these kids need an alternate, a different world. Yeah. It's almost like, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I can't blame them. I mean, when we were growing up, did we have? COVID-19, that we have um, school shootings and all that shit. Maybe it was just yeah. wasn't as publicized as much. Well, uh, there was no social media. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, it's like everything is known and everything, like in these kids who are uh, 10, 11, 12, who are actually, um, you know, when you're really young, you kind of don't realize what's going on. But you get to a certain age, you're like, um, yeah, people are getting shot. Okay. Yeah. This, well, this they is practice real. it in school. Yes. Yes, exactly. Drills, it used to be for us, was just fire drills. Fire drill. You walk outside, you screw around a little bit, you come back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to love a these, fire drill. These Looks kids got to be quiet under their desk, sometimes yeah. in the closet. Like, yeah. It's insane. Yeah. My kid has to go through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that throws a makes things a little bit different, you know. Throws a wrench in what whatever you know yeah. we're used to, you know. But yeah, video games. I mean, back in the day, I mean, talk about video games, bro. What like even that's so different. It's like it's the graphics and the, how much right. like you know. What what's was the in first there? console you had? Nintendo. Oh, well, actually, no. We had the Commodore computer and the Atari. I think it was. All right, yeah, I, I had Atari too. The Pong, whatever Pong was on. Yeah. Atari, Ching. Donkey Kong, Ching. Pong, Ching. yeah, Pit, Pitfall. But then my cousin had ColecoVision. ColecoVision. Yeah, that was another. That was Atari's like nemesis. I didn't know about that. Yeah, yeah. Which what was Oregon Trail on? Oh, that was like the Commodore computer. Com- it was just yeah, a Commodore. That was the Commodore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Commodore sixty four. And then right? it was and like uh, Carmen San Diego and yeah, those games. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. But I no, I think uh, Atari was like Pong, Donkey Kong, Pitfall. Yeah, yeah. We had the Pong. I think we had the, like, the, the joystick had thing Kong. and stuff. Yeah. They might have Frogger, been Frogger, Frogger, Frogger. Frogger was the best. Actually, it might have been ColecoVision that had Donkey Kong. Yeah. I remember going to my cousin's I, house. I, she I, had I'll Coleco be honest with you. This is the first time I've ever heard of Coleco before. Oh, Coleco, yeah. yeah. It was Atari's uh, nemesis, yeah. But I guess for me, I would say, yes, we had those, but it was it was almost irrelevant, those games, because we didn't really play them that much. We had them right. until Nintendo came out right. and they had right. Super Mario Brothers. Oh, they were awesome. Oh, man. Yeah. I love, love, love Super Mario Super Brothers. Mario. And Super Mario 3 was another one of my favorites. 2 was in. Eh, 3 when he had, was awesome. Had the tail and the uh, whatever, and he could fly or whatever? Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. He could swim. He could fly. And I love all the secrets. Like, you hit this 10 yeah, times, yeah, yeah, and yeah. this... Up, 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 up. Yeah. Like, square. And, and then... Here. Um, do you remember the game Castlevania? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. And then there was Simon's Quest. Yeah. So Simon's Quest. Here's the thing. This is how crazy I was with video games as far back then. Not as much now. Right. Um, where they had like the pat, like the like the codes you could put beforehand. You unlock yep. certain yep. things. Yep. Yep. I still, till this day, remember Simon's Quest code. That you remember you the codes? In. Yes. Yeah. It's O O Y Z Y U Q A U R one two S S M I A. Dude, that's sick. Yeah. Did you should make that up, or is that real? No, that's real. O y z y u q a u r one two s s m i a. Um, and, <laughs> what the? Heck? What do you? Uh, I don't know. I just remember it. Rain Man. Rain yeah, Man. I just remember that's insane. it. Insane. And um, and I repeated it just so you know I wasn't making. Yeah, it you up. said the same thing twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fast yeah. too. Yeah. You have to think about it. And I still, yeah, that whole. I don't code, remember my phone number when I was a kid. Dude, and you would unlock it, and it's just uh, I still remember all that thing. What was it like? Up, up, down, right, left, right. You know, yeah, and all that right. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> remember when Nintendo? You would like if it wasn't working, you three times on the side, and you you blow, and then there was, well, did you remember the uh, nail polish remover or whatever? You you put, yeah, there was some crazy ones to it. No, didn't do that. It was blowing it three times, one, two, three, and it worked. And you would wipe it, wipe it with a nail polish remover, and this and that, and just. So, Nintendo had uh, Sega Genesis, right? That was their rival. Yes. Because everybody's got to have a rival. By no, the- no, get out of here! Been, I've had to sit behind the bar. This is when I was. This is my. This is the Nintendo. This has been back here for how long? 
uh, for like months and months I before have the podcast never started. Noticed that? Yeah, I've had it sitting here. This is a Nintendo. This is probably this is from '84, probably when we first got or '85, wow. whenever it came out. What's in there? Zelda? Oh wow, there's a Zelda. In Legend there. of Zelda in there. I didn't even know that. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You just go boom, boom, take it out. Yeah. <laughs> Put yeah. it back in. Yeah. That's sick, dude. Zelda. Zelda had the gold cartridge. <laughs> it's funny because you started talking about Nintendo, and I was like, dude, I got one sitting right here. How did man. we not notice that the whole time? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Nintendo. All right. This has now some... become a gaming channel. We will be playing Nintendo. I don't know, but that thing might be worth something. I don't know. I was at my mom's house, and she's like, uh, She's like um, trying to clean up a room or something, and she's like, "Oh, you want you know take this back?" I was like, "I'm like, oh man, that's uh, pretty cool. I I, I love Nintendo. I'm into like all antique stuff and all that stuff. So, absolutely. I bought a Nintendo about 15 years ago. Really? Maybe a little bit more. Did you buy over like eBay? Did you? Oh, okay. So it was an actual Nintendo. Yeah. Because now they have the ones which I have as well. It's like a little mini Nintendo, but it has oh, like it's got it, all the games, all on the it. games yeah. stored. No, yeah. this was a uh, it was, but I don't even know if it worked when I got it. Mm. But yeah, so Nintendo had Sega Genesis. That's how like Coleco and Atari were. Yeah, you know, like what's what's today? It's the Wii and what PlayStation. Um, two different things. No, well, no. yeah, well, we, yeah, I don't know if Wii's big anymore though. No, so it's a PlayStation, PlayStation, Xbox, Xbox, yeah, Xbox, yeah, Xbox. Once Microsoft one is, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's how much I'm not into it now. Sony, right? Sony. Yeah, right. Sony. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like it's just not my thing anymore. I but. have not played video games in forever. Yeah, yeah. Um, my I, favorite was Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Okay, I love that one for for Nintendo. My favorite actually is what you just saw right there, which Legend is probably Zelda, why it was huh? in there. That's Legend one of, my of Zelda. least favorites. Wow, oh, dude, yes, I love that whole like burning a bush and getting like going into these stairs that were hidden. Yeah. And uh, was it the singing bush? <laughs> From she'll uh, be right there when, when she comes. She comes. Three she'll amigos be reference. <laughs> farley, 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 farley. <laughs> Oh God! Um, <laughs> he shot the invisible sword. <laughs> Would you like to kiss me in the veranda? <laughs> the lips are fine. <laughs> so uh, classic. Yeah, that was a, a very very good classic yeah. movie. Yes, um, we yeah. are big Chevy Chase fans, but yes. So for Atari, I loved Pitfall. For ColecoVision, I loved Donkey Kong. Nintendo for me was Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and Sega Genesis was RBI Baseball. Okay. And then I kind of I did the Madden thing on PlayStation for a while, but I didn't, I didn't, Madden I didn't go on, to two, three. I, I did know. Madden on yeah, I think it was PlayStation and Xbox. Now I can't remember. Yeah. NBA Jams was big. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, he's on fire. Yeah. Boom yeah. shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> I was the Phoenix Suns. Charles Barkley and uh. Dan uh, I was uh, Utah Jazz with uh, John Stockton Ooh, and uh, Carl and Malone. Mailman, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Carl Malone. Um, that, uh, yeah, you could actually get that on your phone now, like in an app, like NBA Jams, and have all that old stuff yeah, and everything. Yeah, I know, I know. But I would say for me, um, as far as Nintendo, it would have been Legend, Legend of Zelda, um, and then Sega. Oh man, I was such a Mortal Kombat fan. Were you? Yeah, yeah I like Mortal Kombat. Out. And I, I was but, such a fan. Like our buddy Ruben, who's been on this podcast, had it. I wasn't allowed to get it. I had to like sneak to the to the the gaming store or whatever right. back then, which was our video store as well, and C D store. <laughs> and yeah. they and they had it there and I had to like take my chances and see if they would sell it to me, not asking me how old I was or whatever, right, right, you know? Right, right. Cause, uh, and then I had it, and then I could only play it secretly when my my parents weren't home or something or weren't around, right. um, and be like, you know, play real quick and learning all the fatalities and all that right. stuff. And but it's uh, funny how all the systems had like uh, like the similar but opposite. Like what? Yeah. So Super Mario, I would say, was over Zelda for Nintendo. Super Mario's got to be the ultimate um, Nintendo. Yeah, right? it's always going to be. Yeah, because right. it, it, but like Genesis had uh, uh, Sonic. Sonic, right? yes, yes, yes. There was uh, Street Fighter, and then there was Mortal Kombat. Mortal you know what Kombat. I mean? Like they always yes. had like the same thing, but it was a different. Yeah, yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know what you're saying exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah. But Mario Brothers, yeah, de- definitely. How about um, Tecmo Bowl. Did you ever play Tecmo Bowl? Back no, in I didn't. That was football. Yeah, it was football, yeah. Yeah, if you were the Los Angeles Raiders and you had Bo Jackson, it was yeah, insanity. I played like Cool Spot. Um, 
Uh, do you remember the commercials with uh, Seven Up and there was the red spot and it had the yeah, character? Yeah, yeah. It was a character. It was a video game oh my based God, on yeah. that. Yeah. So a Seven Up video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool spot. Alex Kid. That's where I learned how That's to cool. do rock hey. paper scissors for the first time. Oh really? Yeah. Alex Kid had like these like things, these challenges, and you do rock paper scissors. Nice. I'm like, um, there was Top Gun and yeah, you know, you land the plane. Uh, Burger Time. I don't remember that one. Oh, Burger Time. Yeah. It was like a version. Uh, it's almost like Donkey Kong with levels, but like yeah, that oh. you'd actually make burgers in a top. Level was the bun. And oh, yeah. Was no, like a tomato and lettuce and a burger. That's funny. And you had to walk over the bun for it to drop and yeah. all this stuff, and there's things coming after you. Um, but Burger Time is a classic. It came, like, free a lot of times. That's cool. Um, just like Super Mario Brothers came free in the original Nintendo. They came with one game. Right, right. right. And do you remember going to Toys R Us with your parents, and you're like... Oh, of course. <laughs> you're like, looking at the games, and yeah. you're like... My friends got that one. Yeah. Do you think maybe? That the ET game was really cool. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had that game. I wish. I yeah, wish. I wish. I, wish. Oh. I would clean my room every day if every... somebody bought me that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you're playing your game. That's what you're yeah. doing. You ain't cleaning your room. <laughs> and then my parents would say, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Borrow it from somebody. Borrow okay. it from someone. <laughs> Nowadays, I feel like our kids nowadays are so spoiled. We just, I want something. Oh yeah. I see they they're like, can I have this? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, sure. That looks yeah, yeah. good. You, you love daddy forever? Yeah. Daddy's the best. Wait, right? you're telling me that fidget spinner could spin for two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take two. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Keep you busy. Yeah, right. yeah, or it keeps you, you busy keep exactly. Popping yeah. those pops. Yeah, yeah. pop those you pops. Those pop, keep those popping those things. Pop yeah. Yeah, you know that thing flips over and you can do it all over yeah, again, right? Yeah, you do right? it over again. <laughs> if you do it for 20 minutes straight, Daddy will buy another one. Yeah, yeah. That's um, funny. I mean, I don't know. Speaking speaking, of, you you brought up Tecmo Bowl, you know, and you're talking about football and everything. I was, uh, Dude, I was watching something that was sports-related. Do you feel that certain commercials, I guess, I guess certain commercials are geared towards whatever's on TV, right? Is that the way it works? I think so. I think so. Okay, I, if you're watching sports, I'll be more sports. Dude, for some reason, I get the the AIDS pill commercial um, on when Seinfeld's on every like they they have this pill like the Votto, That's it. It's like some pill if you have HIV or something. <laughs> it's always what comes, does that do with Seinfeld. It's always on when I'm watching Seinfeld. I'm no freaking clue. That's the government watching you. They're yeah. telling you something. It's like yeah. It's like I I, I can think that's the way it is. If you watch like daytime television or or for for instance, I watch Sunday morning CBS Sunday morning. I always like the content they have on there. Okay. It's always all, every commercial is like whatever musical is on, and um, yeah, I think, no, I've I think, never noticed. And speaking of commercials, I watched the other day for the first time. He's been the 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 big thing since he's been with uh, Kim Kardashian. That uh, Pete Davidson guy. Oh, Pete Davidson. Yeah, I I saw this this commercial. Get it? Yeah. Don't get it. I don't know. I mean, I heard he's got a dong. That's like. (laughs) But that's all it takes. I mean, for Kim Kardashian, she has everything, right? So all she needs is maybe someone that can look at that guy, man. I don't understand it either. Um, is it one of those things? I mean, dude, she was—he was with Kate Beckinsale before too. His list is insane. I mean, she's a dime, bro. He, yeah. And the other girl, the young girl, he was with uh, Grande, Ariana Grande. Oh, 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 come on, man, this guy. Yeah, I mean, he's got some track record there. But he—I saw this commercial. <laughs> Speaking of Pete Davidson, I saw this commercial. It was a manscaping commercial. Oh, I've seen those. A, I've never seen that one with him. Yeah. I've seen Manscaped. It's a girl. Cool. That's like a thing. He's trying to be comedic with it. He's like, oh, I trim my facial hair, and uh, I have another one for when I trim downstairs. And he's like, oh, forget it. I actually used the same one for both. You know? Yeah, <laughs> Something yeah, like, yeah. you know. And uh, I'm like, really? Isn't Manscaped? that a weird that that's a commercial, though? Yeah. You know? It's well. I thought the weird. I thought Did Go Daddy when I first saw the first Go Daddy commercial <laughs> oh, the, on the Super Bowl or something like, like that. Half naked girls. Yeah, and I was like, like, "It's like we'll start up your website. What does it have yeah. to do with half naked girls?" Yeah, I know. But now Go Daddy is a pretty big thing. Yeah, uh, for yeah. making websites. And now all that it's I stuff. Daddy, I Poppy, I Poppy, I Poppy. So yeah, I found it interesting when I saw that. Did you was, order it? Did I order it? Yeah. Okay. Well. You know, a lot of things happen when you get married <laughs> and you have kids. And there's certain things that you may slack on. 
<laughs> you know, and uh, well, so your just... bottom looks like your top. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a sweater underneath this. I think <laughs> okay. yes, yes. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, it's maybe when I was in my younger years when I really cared more about that stuff, you yeah. know. But nowadays, I'm like, ah, whatever, you know. I mean, yeah, I let it go a little bit, but I still try to trim up a little. Oh, bit. Oh, you're trying to neaten up down it makes, there. Uh, yeah, yeah, it makes little John look, look like bigger. Big John. Yeah, bigger John. <laughs> yeah. It makes little John look like little little John. Or do you feel like a baby? <laughs> yeah, well, a little bit of both. <laughs> I don't understand the guys who manscape, like, even in between the cheeks, like, on the backside. Uh, like, what? Really? What's the sense of that? No. Yeah. I had a, a buddy of mine does it, and he squats over a mirror. And I'm like, how do you even... Why? And here's he says, the real he question. Feel, uh, and his thing was, I just I feel clean. And your buddy talked to you about this. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. See, here's the thing. If you... I, and I... As a man, when you grow... Get into that point of your life where you... Are growing hair in those areas, like in your arse, <laughs> uh, you will find that the friction actually is a good thing. If there's no hair there, it's like slippery, slippery and slimy. I think, and you kind of need right, yeah, that absolutely. hair there. I agree. I agree. I agree. Or if you've ever like the, the recently, I um, whenever I have to go into a pool, I'll, I'll trim my like I have one of those long back. Uh, it's like to oh, get really? your back. It's yeah, like a, a big thing. It's a buzzer, but it's long, right. specifically for trimming. Um, I mean, I have a tattoo back there too. Sometimes I like to clean it up a little bit, All so right. my upper back's, you know. So um, I'm like, uh, I'm doing that, and then I take the thing, and I'm like, eh, let me go over to chest a little <laughs> bit. Have you ever watched a Seinfeld episode when Jerry uh, does his chest? He's constantly scratching afterwards, and I'm like, oh, my God. Afterwards, I was like, this That's is the stupidest thing I ever, yeah. I've never, never trimmed the chest, the armpits, the back. I've never done that. Ah, it was a dumb choice, yeah. and I should have remembered from that Seinfeld episode. Don't, yeah. don't do the chest, because it gets super, super right. itchy. Well, I mean, unlike uh, Pete Davidson, I do only have one trimmer. So oh, wow. I have been bottom to top, top to bottom. But yes. you know, Did you figure out why you had crabs in your beard now? No, you think that's why? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I think about that. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, like I, I said, for me, I like to, it feels clean. It feels nice. You yeah. feel like, you know, you're. Yeah. Yeah. Well, teach your own. Do you like a, a womanscaped person? Um, or do you not give a shit about that either? Um, I'm indifferent. You know, I think there's pluses and minuses to everything. Right. You know, it's kind of one of those things. I mean, mm. is that your cup of tea? Not a right conversation. No, I mean, no, I don't care. Yeah, I can that's exactly. So we're in the same. Yeah, same no, I can go. I can that. go either way. Yeah, yeah. It, it can look like my beard. It can look like the bar. Let's just say, at our age, we're very easy to please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just give me some. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So I think we're at that point, considering our conversations and what they're getting at right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. To get into yeah. this. Because there's a little doggy waving to me over there. Yes. This is a Four Roses single barrel barrel strength. We're so they excited ha- about this today. Yeah, this is, yeah. A, this is a good one. This one um, apparently is pretty sought out after in my... Uh, bourbon groups uh this is oesq that's the recipe um for this four roses uh you know what that single barrel for? yes all right i do and i was going over it with john and just to so people who don't know how it works with barrel strength for they have bottles that look like this that you'll see every day at your liquor local liquor store but um they're not all barrel strength um, barrel strength means it's basically whatever it comes out that alcohol percent and they keep these in certain areas of the warehouse and whatever it is that's what it is um, it's, it, and it's, it's a little bit more pricier you get these for about 90 bucks a bottle um, but this one is a little more sound after and I've seen going closer upwards of 300 for something like this um, yeah it's crazy with some of these recipes um, which is interestingly enough because this is only a, a three tier this, um, yeah, this one's got a code on the bottom so they all, yeah, all figure the, out the code. All the barrel strength ones do have a code, and just to, um, I have my cheat sheet here actually, just so we can remember. Um, this one has the, obviously the alcohol percent you'll always see there. That's a, a given. That's just telling you what right. it's the percent of alcohol it is. 
And then the first letter you see is a T. And what T represents on a four roses is the warehouse n um, number, even though it's a letter. Okay. But yeah. That's uh, so. This is uh, the uh, like so build, building T or section yes, T. Yes. Yes. Right, something. Right, right. Yes. 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 And then the next letter, you're either going to see an N or an S, which or like you know, it's for direction. And this is actually T N, which stands for north. Right. And then you get into your next group of numbers, which is this is thirty two dot three S. And um, the 32 is your Rick number. And then the um, three is your tier. So the higher the tier, uh, from what I understand, is it means it's always going to be a higher tier means higher alcohol. Um, and this is a three, and this is at 58.2%, so it's, it's a little up there. Um, and then back to our directionals here, and it ends with an S, and that is the barrel position. Right. Um, so it's interesting with these four roses. Yep. Um, John looked at my cabinet, and I have like... Uh, uh, quite a few. I and thought they were all the same. He thought they were all the same bottles. I go, wow, he's a really big fan you of that. Yeah, a lot. Uh, yeah. You know, but no, because I have quite a few recipes. When right. it comes to four roses and these re rec the recipes, like this one in particular, is an OESQ. When you buy these from a store, they're always going to be like a store pick. So they get the barrel, and um, each store pick has uh, whatever recipe they picked. And certain recipes will be... Um, Done with a certain amount of rye um, and corn, and uh, you know there there's little change ups here and there as far as certain recipes. Some recipes are definitely more sought out after uh, more than others. Um, this one in particular, uh, like I said, it was one I, I you know so in Jersey you're allowed to put these cool like stickers and stuff on it, so I think that definitely helps. Um, this one I picked up from Hackettstown at. Um, at the uh, store, uh, wine and whiskey over there. So it wasn't Superville, uh, Somerville Super Savers. It wasn't. This one wasn't Somerville Super Savers. Shout although those Super guys Super know Savers. each other. Yeah. Um, a lot, a lot of the big name liquor stores in the area kind of, you know, they all know each other. Um, but this one, I had when I originally bought it, everyone was so hyped on this. Um, I'm part of the Facebook group, and I didn't know as much back then. And they're so hyped. Oh my god, I want to get a bottle. I went there at the time. Uh, I went and they had bottles, and I was like, "Oh, I'll take well, one of this one and the other one that you guys have been promoting." That everyone's, yeah. And apparently, like this is one now that people are like, "If you have it, you'll." It's like, "Wow, you need this one." Um, it's a distilled bottle. It's got all the all the dates on there. Yes, this is distilled March twenty second, two thousand nine. Barreled April eighth, two thousand nine, and bottled. Uh, February 7th of 2019. Is that what it said on the other side, too, under the dog there? Oh, 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 yes. This one has uh, Warehouse TN332-3S. Oh, wow. okay, cool. Yeah. They did their homework so, and, and, so and made it easy for you. So Basically, for like people who've seen the, the, the show Neat, like they said like where the barrel is yes. in the warehouse is a big deal. Yes, it is. Like It plays a part. Yes, because um, it could be how much sunlight is coming through, right. the kind of warmth, right. the kind of whatever's hitting that oak barrel and what it's doing to it. And um, there's a lot to it, definitely. But I'm happy to share this with you, John, because sure, sure. um, this is this is this is one that happy to have some. Um, you, you're not going to see it again. Um, no. And this you, is it. Yeah, this is it. And um, I have, like I said, quite a few variations. So, you know, you're going to have stuff that's going to be pretty similar. And especially if it's the same OESQ, like this one uh, recipe. So, you know. That was a lot of info, man. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, it was a bit, bit good much. Good for you. And, and good for you for listening. Thank you for going through that stuff and, that, and not falling asleep. No. No, um, no that, was very, uh, yeah. that was very cool, man. Yeah. Like, uh, th one of the most uh, the cool things, like, I think about this is when they put, like, south north like where the yeah. barrel was like to me that's pretty cool yeah it is pretty cool just to see and just people get a little crazy with it and they're like i only drink uh their four roses uh bourbons from the uh, south side um oh, by so the, that means they were slave owners by the window that has the bird that whistles from it every morning at nine Oh, 2 a.m. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> really? Anyways, but try this out. Tell, tell me what you think. Yeah, right. um, well, cheers, bud. Cheers. Nobody died this week that we know of. So that we know of, yeah. <coughs> Ooh. <laughs> Look like uh, the, th the Three Amigos was, again. Yeah, no, it was good until... Backdrop. Let's uh, do it again. 
The first one always gets me. That first sip always gets yeah. me. Yeah, dude, this is higher proof. Remember that. I can tell. Yeah, I can tell. Don't sleep on that. That's good stuff. It's good. It's not, uh, it's probably not something I would, at this stage of my bourbon game, that I would sip on at night. Yeah. Have a little water. Unless I put a little ice cube in there. Mm. But I will do it in a little bit of water. Clank, clank, clank. Mm-hmm. See, so yeah, mix it with a little bit of water. Mix it. It yeah. takes the it takes the burn. It's got good flavor. It takes the, uh, it's a solid one from Four Roses. Yeah. Um, would I pay what people are paying for this particular bottle? Absolutely not. I was going to say, I have to say no. No. I have to say no. No. It's good. I can see why people like it. But with so many different Four Roses blends out there and things like that, am I going to... So, no, yeah. I'm going to go crazy. So that's to another thing. Like, so it seems like Four Roses puts out quite a few different variations of yeah. their bourbon. Yeah. So why would one be more expensive than the other? Like, I don't know. I feel like there's... No. Even though they're different variations, If you're buying it from the store, it's going to be the same price. But it's easily accessible. If you're buying it in the secondary market where Joe and John want to trade or whoever, you know... You but gotta, that's not for taste or... That, or that's, so. that's for collection. Mm, no, some people really prefer a certain recipe taste. Really? Yes, because keep in mind the recipe, the taste on these, it's it's they're all different. Just to, just to elaborate on it, um, OBSV is delicate, fruity with pear, and apricot, spicy, creamy. OBSK is rich in spiciness, full body. OBSQ is floral. OBSO is slightly fruity with spicy and medium body. OBSF is mint. Fruity, spicy, full body. OESV is delicate, fruity, fresh, creamy. OESK is spicy and full body. OESQ is, that's what, um, that's what we're having, right? OESQ right. is um, floral. So like rose petal, um, acacia, banana. It's refreshing with a medium body. That one has the biggest description, actually. OESO is fruity, like red berries, medium body. And OESF is mint, fruity, and full body. So there is a difference. Okay. Um, where people might say, I want something that's more fruity, more minty, more... To pay that price for it? Yeah, well, like I said, if you're buying it straight from the store, it's going to be about 90 bucks. Right. If it's... But to me, like, if you're buying it secondary market, pay $300 yeah. for something. I think part of it is if people are collecting, and then part of it is, like, some people just really prefer... Some are more rye forward, more... Looking you know. for something more floral. Hey, how much you got? I got 500 bucks. Can I buy that yeah. for you? Well, I don't know. That's weird to me. Some people have more money than necessary, so I guess that's the way this it works true. out. So, this is true. But, but John, I hate to do this right now, but we no. are getting a little bit We're towards done. our end right now. Yes, we are. We try to keep these at a certain time limit, and this is the sec- uh, second time in a matter of a couple of weeks that we were going over that we said we would I go know. over. So I didn't get to describe how I manscape. Oh wow, well, wow, well, wow! Well. well, that is a good thing, guys. So, um. <laughs> Shout outs today are uh, Trillium, Trillium Brewing Company along with Garage, Garage Project, Project. Yes. and Four Roses. Uh, keep pu- putting out these uh, awesome recipes. Yep. And uh, Shout out to uh, my friend Tim and Karen again. Yes. This is probably their third shout out. They took my kids in the land of make-believe. Yes. Need a little bit of rest time. Uh, shout out Triple Book Campground. And uh, any fans of Nintendo, Sega Genesis, the old school people. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, cheers to you guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Let us know if you uh, like this episode. Let us know if you hated this episode. Yeah. Just Let more us things. know if you like Four Roses or if yeah. you don't like Four Roses. Yeah, maybe you like Three Roses. Maybe you like Two Roses. Yeah, you maybe never you know. like a, 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 a rose. What was the seal? Kiss from a Rose kiss on the Grave. Yeah, maybe you gray, want to kiss yeah. from a Rose on the Grave. Yeah, yeah. Batman soundtrack. Anything you want Forever. us to talk about, comment. Yeah. If you've made it this far, nobody's probably listening. Yeah, absolutely not. Cheers. 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 Peace. <laughs>